Papa loves our planet. Hello friends, how are you? As you know, where we live and which planet is our? Earth is our planet. So, today Peppa and George is describing about our planet. So come, let's see. By the way, welcome to my channel, Butter Tales. You're welcome in the world of stories. So come, let's start the story. Peppa loves our planet. This storybook is looking very amazing, friends. It was Love Our Planet Week at Playgroup. Papa and her friends were very excited. Welcome, children, said Madam Gazelle, pointing to a picture of the world. This is Earth, the planet we live on. Wow! gasped the children. The little things we do to look after our planet can make a big difference. Continued Madam Gazer. Can anybody think of something we can do to help? Recycle! Cried Peppa. Useless water! Said Pedro Pony. Throw her own snack! Squid rubbing the rabbit. Oh, no trash! Said Zoe Zebra. Sitting, but Danny Dog switching off the lights. All excellent ideas, said Madam Gazer. Well done. But let's turn the light back on for now, Danny, so we can see. Okay, said Danny Dog. Now, children. I'd like you each to make a love or planet scrapbook at home, said Madam Gizel. You can fill it with all the things you do to help look after our planet and then bring it for show and tell. Ooh! Guess Peppa and her friends excitedly. They loved making scrapbooks and they loved show and tell. At home time, Daddy Pig arrived with Peppa and George Scooter. Can we Scooter home every day, Daddy? It will be better for our planet if we don't use the car. Asked Peppa. Great idea, Peppa. I love scootering. Said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig raced off and Papa and George scooted after him. Wait for us, Daddy! cried Papa. When they got home, Papa and George helped Mommy and Daddy Pig with dinner. If we put the peelings in the food waste bin, Grandpa can use the compost on his garden. Then he can help look after our planet too, said Papa. Lovely idea. We can take them to Grandpa tomorrow, says Mummy Pig. The next day, Papa and George scooted over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house with the food waste bin. Thank you, Papa, said Grandpa Pig, thrilled with his gift. Who thought these pigs will turn into compost? which will be fantastic food for my plants and will help my garden grow very nicely. And it will help look after our planet too, said Peppa. Then Grandpa Pig had a surprise. He gave Peppa and George a widow box to take home. He explained, These flowers are very important. Bees and butterflies love them. We need insects to help plants make sense. Thank you, Grandpa, cried Peppa, buzzing around and pretending to be a bird. I am a buzzy bee looking after our planet. Don't you good. When they arrived home from Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, Peppa and George watered their lovely new window box. 
Look, George, all these bees and butterflies have come to visit our new flowers. We are looking after our planet, cried Peppa. After lunch, it was time to pop to shop. Daddy remembered to bring some old shopping bags so we don't have to get new ones, said Peppa. Great idea, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, picking up some shopping bags to reuse. Right, let's go. Just as they were leaving, George pointed to the light switch. He wants to turn off the light to look after our planet, explained Peppa. Thank you, George. I'll do it for you. From now on, your job can be remind us to turn off the lights, said Mummy Pig. George quit. He was very happy with his new job. That evening, Peppa and George started up and put everything into the right recycling bins. Let's sing the recycling song, said Peppa. Recycle. Recycle, we are going to recycle tin cans, bottles, newspapers. Recycle, recycle, we are going to recycle. We'll take everything to Mr. Bull's recycling depot tomorrow, said Mommy Pig. But there's still one more thing left for us to do today. Scrapbook! Jared Peppa. Peppa and George used some of the cardboards from the recycling bin to make their Love Our Planet scrapbooks. Then they drew and stuck in pictures of all the different things they had done to help look after our planet. Wow! What lovely scrapbook! said Daddy Pig. They are recycled, Daddy! said Peppa proudly. At bedtime, Daddy Pig was the last one to brush his teeth. Make sure you turn off the tap while you are brushing Daddy, that way you won't waste any water, said Peppa. Splash, play, splash, play, splash, play, mumbled Daddy Pig through a mouthful of toothpaste. The next morning at playgroup, Papa, George, and their friends showed Madam Gazel their Love Our Planet scrapbook. Fantastic work, children, said Madam Gazel. You have found lot of ways to look after our planet. I hope you have all learned that when it comes to looking after our planet, every little thing makes. A big difference! shouted Papa and her friends, finishing Madam Gazelle's sentence for her. Papa, George, and the friends love our planet. Everyone loves our planet. Friends, the story has finished. It's our responsibility to keep our planet safe and clean. So, you also need to do these major things that Papa and the friends have done. So friends, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and remember everything whatever you have learned today. So, bye!